Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is my first video of the new year of 2020. This is my first video. This should be going up on the 1st of January and I wanted it to go up on the 1st of January because it just, it's just nice isn't it? Because it's the first of the whole year so I just thought that would be quite nice. And it is my new year's resolutions. I wanted to film this because it's kind of like in my head set goals for myself and it's documented and also you can see kind of what I want to do. Um, I don't see anything wrong with people saying what they want to achieve or what they want to get done and you know there's not too many of them. I didn't want it to be a ridiculous list. I just wanted it to be a few things that I want to achieve. A little review of last year. In terms of YouTube, it wasn't the greatest. I didn't put a horrific amount of effort into my YouTube. Last year, it was very poor. I was not as motivated. I think I was trying to get used to juggling many different things. When you go to uni, you've got so much going on. Like literally, you've got um, uni work going on, I wanted to focus on, you know, trying to eat a little bit healthier, trying to exercise, you've just got so much going on, I just, with my YouTube as well, it was just a little bit too much. I am trying to find my feet again, I am going to be filming a mental health update video that's going to be coming very soon, in a few days, so stay um, tuned for that, that should be going up next Monday, so Monday the 6th of January, but I just... In that video I'm going to kind of discuss a little bit about last year and everything and just talking about my mental health in general throughout that so stay tuned for that video. I am a lot better now, I'm you know finding my feet a little bit more and I'm ready to kind of get back into YouTube and set my goals. So um, I'm not going to ramble on too much but if you aren't already subscribed please do subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more this year, there's going to be more quality content, I'm going to really think through my videos put a lot more effort in and just get back to how I used to be with motivation for YouTube and everything like that because it is what I enjoy you know people might question why are you doing this you don't have that many subscribers I do this because I like to do this and some of my videos do you know help a lot of people and I'm talking about like my anxiety videos and things like that so I just want to you know continue just doing what I enjoy to do basically and that's what I'm going to be doing this year so Let's crack on. I've got my um, cup of tea here and my little Christmas nails that I did. I hope you like them. You can't really see them very well, but they've got like little polka dots on. I did these myself. If you want to see a video of me, how I do my nails, then do let me know because I do do them myself. These aren't my nails. These are fake nails, um, but I paint them myself and cut them down and everything. They're much cheaper than going and getting them done and they do stay on really well. But anyway, aside from that, let's crack on. Number one, by the way, if I'm looking over here, it's because I've written a list. Uh, number one is to post three videos a week on my YouTube and to put loads of planning and effort into them and do videos that people want to see. So I used to film three videos a week. In fact, I used to be so motivated that I would love to have filmed every single day. But I was thinking, you know, do I do two, do I do three? But I thought, you know what, Georgie, you've got so many ideas, you've got so much that you've got to say and you've got a lot to do you know of effort and you know I do have a lot of spare time you know although I am very busy and I would think in my head I don't have that much spare time I do really um it's just mentally do I have that spare time I'm thinking but I do three videos you know you can put across a lot of a variety of different content I am going to be filming videos that are going to be in relation to makeup, in relation to the body shop, because I do do some work for the body shop, but I'm not gonna talk about that too much just yet. And I am gonna film anxiety videos, um, university videos, baking videos, cooking, lifestyle, how I'm doing now, a day in the life of me, just anything I can think of, I'm gonna do reviews, I'm gonna do vlogs, I'm gonna be, you know, talking about whole spectrum and mental health. This year I want to talk about mental health and anxiety and selective mutism a lot more because I feel like that is, you know, my place a little bit more on YouTube. That's the videos that seem to do a lot better because obviously people do look to me for advice and things like that and they message me a lot. So I do want to put those videos out a little bit more this year because I have got a lot to say, I've got a lot to share, and I would like to share that on here, and I think it would be a waste if I didn't. So yeah, like I said, I do wanna put a lot more planning into them. I want them to be quality over quantity. I do wanna get three videos out, 5 p.m. on a Wednesday, uh, a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday, so that kind of leaves the weekend for me to just kind of chill and film the videos and edit them. Fridays are my days off of uni, so that can be like my, my filming and editing day. But yeah, and I also want to make videos that people wanna see, like 
like my anxiety videos and my mental health videos people want to see those videos they want to see revision videos but it depends what on because obviously if it's on you know how to revise physics i have no idea just things like that i want to do what you want to see so if you've got any ideas then please do let me know down in the comments or just pop me a message or anything like that um on my instagram which will be linked down below as well so yeah so number two even though that's four but number two I want to continue selling products for the body shop as it's a passion of mine so if you didn't already know I am a consultant at the body shop at home it's a little program that the body shop do for people that want to earn a little bit of extra money by selling products and getting commission on those products I started doing this in just the end of August and I absolutely love it it's something that is definitely more tailored to me like you can earn money whilst you're at home I am not the kind of person that at the minute I don't have the time to go out and do a job because I'm so busy with uni and also with my anxiety and things like that it is a little bit difficult for me to think about that but being at home doing um, and selling products online is just quite enjoyable to me I would consider it a hobby obviously I am making some money off it and that's great but I would definitely consider it a hobby I am also going to be posting a lot of body shop content on my channel as well and that doesn't mean I'm going to be saying buy this buy this buy this it means I'm going to be reviewing products talk about in pro talking about products but that doesn't mean you have to buy them that just means that that's what I want to do because obviously I've got loads of products so why not so yeah I'm just going to continue with that but I won't talk about that too much in this video because I probably will make another one about that number three which is a big one for me is to carry on with my fitness and to try and eat healthy so I can enjoy treats when I have them and work out nearly every day so I recently and when I say recently over the past month have really kind of focused on you know eating a bit healthier working out I've been planning a lot more of what I eat I've been getting up in the morning and you know really focusing on having more water and I do want to make a whole video kind of towards the end of January about this a kind of healthy eating lifestyle because you don't understand how beneficial it is to you until you try it and until you do it and when you eat a lot healthier you feel happier you look happier and it just gives you so much more energy i'm not doing this as like a weight loss thing i'm doing this for happiness and the weight loss would just be you know an added bonus um it's working out and eating healthy should be about you being fit and you being healthy not i want to look like this or i want to be like this you want to be healthy i think that should be the goal so i've been eating a lot healthier i will be doing a what i eat in a day in a couple of weeks and i will have been working out every single day pretty much just missing the odd few days i did have a break over the christmas period and when i say over the christmas period i mean basically three days off you can't have that state of mind where you think i'll have a week or two off because you've blown it you need to just give yourself that day or that couple of days and then get straight back on it otherwise you've ruined it and healthy eating should not be a diet it should be a lifestyle it should be something that you do you can have a cheat day or you can have treats here and there but you shouldn't be you know indulging too much because then you won't enjoy them as much number four four mix up my style a bit and save up for different items in my wardrobe so last year I didn't buy a single item of clothing throughout the whole of last year I did get one item of clothing and that was like a fluffy kind of beige jumper thing but Jamie actually bought that for me from H&M um, so I technically didn't actually buy I would have bought that if he didn't buy it but technically I didn't buy anything and that wasn't because I was you know trying to save money it wasn't because I was forcing myself not to buy anything but it was because I genuinely didn't want anything I was happy with my wardrobe I wasn't really inspired by anything I wasn't inspired by clothes I would get up in the morning throw on some leggings and a jumper or throw on leggings and a hoodie and that was my look that was who I am because I was a lot more focused on trying to focus my mind on other things so last year I just wanted to focus on uni I wanted to focus on the body shop and I just when you've got so much going on in your head the last thing that you want to do is just be trying to concerned about what you're going to wear but now I'm thinking about it a lot more this is actually a new jumper but I got it for Christmas from my mum thank you mum I just want to be a little bit more inspired this year I don't want to waste my money I want to think okay so I've got this wardrobe what don't I want or what do I want so what am I missing from my wardrobe what could I benefit from and then I can save up for that um, I don't want to just impulse buy and go and get it I want to think about it for a while and I want to think can I afford this 
yes then I can go and buy it and I'm the kind of person that doesn't really get expensive things I will go for more of the cheaper end of things and that is exactly what I will be doing so Primark is going to be my best friend next year I think maybe I don't know number five focus on uni and get all of my work done in advance so uh, when I mean focus on uni I mean just make that my absolute focus obviously I'm the kind of person where I can plan 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 and get everything sort of sorted so I don't mean just forget everything else and focus on uni I am going to be doing everything else as well but what I mean is just not letting it slack so with uni I'm going to be getting all of my work done so for example seminar questions that come up onto blackboard so online for my uni i'm gonna get them done well in advance so that if i can't do them which is usually the case i can try and find out how to do them and turn up to my lectures and sem seminars and just put a lot more effort into things and i don't think i'm the kind of person that has the time or the mental capacity to do too much further reading on subjects as long as I get done the work that they've given me to do and I get it in on time and I stay on top of lecture notes then I think I'm happy with that so that's what I'm kind of aiming for and that's what I'm gonna go for and then number six so number six which is probably the most important one for this video and the most important one for me is to focus on myself and my mental health as a priority and try and push myself more so I think with me because of the struggles that I've had in the past with my anxiety and selective mutism when I was a child I have realized now and I've grown as a person and I've realized that you have to focus on your mind first you have to put yourself first I always like to think of others now and I think having gone through anxiety it does make you um, have a better understanding as to how other people will feel and it makes you a lot more sympathetic towards people and empathetic and I like that about myself that I will always look at somebody and I will always see them in a different light to other people because I can almost see through things and situations and why people might be acting the way that they are you know people might think oh they're being rude or whatever but I can see no they're not they're clearly uncomfortable they're acting like that because of this that etc and I think making sure that I'm happy and just focusing on making sure that I'm comfortable with life is the most important thing if you go through life and you aren't happy you've wasted your life life is there for you to try your hardest to always be happy that doesn't mean you need all the money in the world if you are working and working and working and earning loads of money but you aren't happy then you need to change something because that's not the purpose of life it's not to earn loads of money but still not be happy the purpose of life is to be happy and if that means making loads of money then fair enough you know that's good for you um but what i'm saying is that should be your priority and that is going to be my priority is kind of focusing on my mental health and how i feel because i know that no matter what situation i'm in if my mental health is really good and if i'm really happy then i can push through and i can get through it um but if it's not too great then any situation can be you know really quite stressful that is what i'm going to be doing and like i said i am going to be doing a lot more mental health videos on my channel also just adding to that i did say i want to push myself a lot more and what i mean by that is just to kind of force myself to do things that I wouldn't usually do and just push myself a little bit further and I don't mean go out and do this join this club go there do this you know that's not me that's not who I am I'm not going to change that what I want to do is just maximize everything already that I've got I want to maximize myself and my potential at uni I want to maximize my potential on YouTube and I want to keep posting videos and pushing myself to post them and put effort in pushing myself with the body shot because I enjoy it and also pushing myself in terms of my confidence and my mental health making sure that I'm going out socializing with people that you know if something occurs I do force myself into it a little bit more um, but I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video because that is something for um, a few days time in my mental health update video but yeah so those are my resolutions and I think the most important one is to make sure that I'm happy because happiness is key so yeah that's the most important one and by doing that I think I should have a good year so those are my resolutions just to kind of round up you know them all it's basically fitness workouts YouTube the body shop 
mixing up my clothing a little bit more and focusing on uni but the main one is to just make sure that I focus on myself my mental health and make sure that I am happy. So that is my six resolutions for this year 2020. I might do a video at the end of the year where I review these resolutions and to kind of see how they are and if I've achieved them etc. But yeah, I'm really happy with how I'm starting the year. I feel really motivated. So yeah, please do subscribe for more content on my channel. I am going to be posting every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to be on it this year. Yeah, 5 p.m. Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but that time may change. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>